uh, welcome to this another live session. We are live in our uh, Facebook ads for online business group, and also we're live uh, on John Cornwell and Cornwell Media pages. Um, I am John Cornwell. I'm the founder and CEO of Cornwell Media, and I'm also a Facebook ad strategist. And I'm here to share with you some valuable lessons about Facebook ads. So aside from me having a few YouTube channel, um, releasing contents about Facebook ads, marketing, and business, I also do, um, I'm, I'm actually planning this to be as regular as, as it can um, so that I can you know, help more um, entrepreneurs out there who are using Facebook ads to leverage or to grow their businesses. Okay, um, right now, uh, this night, we're going to discuss about how to track your results and your return on investment even without the website. So maybe most of you are using messaging campaigns only, like wala kayong um, website and then you're just starting. So yung ginagamit ninyo sa simula is really messaging campaign because you, re you really want to connect with your um, your customers directly and promote there, right? And hopefully, we're hoping that we can really... Um, convert them, right? And uh, this night, uh, I'll be sharing not only some um, over, uh, not only some theor theories about it, but I, I'll, I'll be sharing personal tips, the practical tips that I personally do for uh, my business and also my clients um, on analyzing and optimizing Facebook ad campaigns with messages objectives. Okay, so yeah, let's start. Number one, I'll be sharing my screen. Okay, now I am now sharing my screen and as you can see here, the first tip that I, can, I will give you is, uh, this is what I call purchase tagging. So when you say purchase tagging, um, dito sa my business suite, kung ito yung ginagamit ninyo pag nagsasagot kayo sa mga customers ninyo, you just click this. There's, um, kumbaga, itong icon na peso sign na nasa baba. Hindi nyo makita kasi may overlay. I'll, I'll first remove the overlay. Okay. This one, uh, itong peso sign and dito sa baba. Yan. When you click that, basically, yung ibig sabihin nito is your you want to record on Facebook purchase. Yung problem kasi with messaging objectives is hindi natin nakikita yung number of purchases or yung mga importanteng mga analytics sa may uh, ads manager natin. Kasi nga, it's not a conversion or purchases na campaign or optimization event. So hindi natin siya nakikita. We need to do that manually. Okay, para natin mas ma-analyze ng maayos dun sa my ads manager, um, yung gagawin natin is kailangan lang natin i-tag as purchase manually. So katulad nito, um, clinic ko yung peso sign and then you put here the amount. Okay, yung amount ng um, purchase nila. Okay, so tapos dito lalagyan mo na lang dito ng let's say cash on delivery, GCash o kung ano man yung mode of payment niya. So pag kinontinue natin yun, if we submit that, ito yung magiging um, prompt niya or ito yung magiging message na marireceive ng customer. So may kita yung amount, yung note at saka yung order status. Actually yung assumption dito ni Facebook is na receive yung payment. Okay? Yung assumption dito is na receive yung payment, pero you need to Kaya nga, kung cash on delivery yan, you need to put cash on delivery dito sa note or COD para hindi malito si customer. So, that's the first one. That's called purchase tagging. If you purchase, uh, if you tag that as purchase, yung mangyayari doon is it will be recorded as, eto, purchases or specifically on Facebook purchase yung tawag. So, again, that's um, that can be recorded as purchases. So, makikita mo na siya dito sa my ads manager. And one of the best um, advantages nito is that when you click, uh, I mean, when you go to the specific ad sets or ads ng isang campaign, 
makikita mo kasi doon kung ah, saan ba galing yung conversion. ba diba, yung problem with most messaging campaigns is we don't know kung saan audience or anong ad nang gagaling yung conversions natin, yung mga bumibila talaga. ba diba? So, you can do that by, uh, yun nga, purchase tagging. Tapos, pag na-purchase tag mo na siya, eto na siya, makikita mo na siya sa my ads manager. Right? So, nakikita ni dito yung purchases, ba diba? Yung cost per purchase, nakikita na yan dyan. Tapos, um, syempre, let's go to the second tip that I will give you, and that is by customizing the columns here in the ads manager. So, kung ito yung ginagamit ninyo, basically, you, what you can do is you can click this and then click um, can click performance, setup. Marami yan dyan dito. Kung baga, ano to eh, uh, mga presets na to ng mga columns. But you can create your own column. Yun yung point ko dito sa my tip number two. You, you create your own column that will provide you information that's helpful to you. Na kumbaga, ito yung mga information na makakapag, uh, makakatulong sa'yo mag-decide on what to do with your campaign. Okay? So, um, dito, uh, in this example, what I did here is I have a customized column, column na ROI all, yung pangalan ko. So, yung nandito lang is yung result, yung result rate. Kumbaga, ito yung um, result rate is yung percentage ng mga tao na when they see your uh, ad, magkano yung, oh, kumbaga, uh, ilan yung rate na nag-engage sila or nag-result nag sila with the optimization event na gusto mo. So, for example, this one, pag nakakita ng ad yung tao, ilan yung percentage ng mga tao na nag uh, click sa may send message button or nag-send talaga sa'yo ng message. Ito yung results rate. Yung conversion rate naman, ito, ginawa ko to, um, I want to teach it here also. So basically, pag magumawa ka ng customized columns, no, um, what you can do is you create custom metric. So ito, pangalanan mo to, ako pinangalanan ko siyang conversion rate kasi hindi ko makita yung conversion rate dito sa may, sa may ads manager. So ginawa ko, ah, uh, uh, I put here the metric name, kung ano yung gusto ko. Ako, personally, yung gusto ko is ano eh, conversion rate. Sabi natin, conversion rate. Based on messaging, ha? Based on messaging. So, pag sinabi na natin, ano, um, conversion rate based on messaging, it's the number of conversions or, the, let's say, number of purchases, no? Divided by the um, results or kung number of messages, Example here, search for metric or type your formula. So yung metric natin una is um, purchases, di ba? So ito, purchases divided by ano, um, number of messages or yung results natin. Or number wait, messages. Okay, ito. New messaging conversation or messaging conversation started. Pwede yan. Tapos, i-create mo na yung metric. So, ito yung ginawa ko dito, no? Meron akong conversion rate based on messages. Wala to dito, eh. Wala to dito sa list na to. So, I did that. And, um, yun nga. That's why you can see it here. No? Tapos, cost per result, you can see this naman here in the customized columns. Tapos, uh, sa purchases, makikita mo din dito, syempre, di ba? Tapos, cost per purchase, purchases conversion value, at saka yung purchase ROAS, which in this case is 8.85, which is already nice, actually. It's very um, profitable already. So in this one glance, mas makikita mo yung mga pinaka-importanting numbers. You know, there are a lot of like coaches and gurus who tell you about the um, yung mga metrics na like click-through rate and all other stuff. Although, I also encourage you naman to um, go through those metrics. Pwede ka naman gumawa ng column or dito, mag-test ka dito sa mga, sa mga other columns. Pero what I'm saying here is you should focus more on the return or yung mga metrics na focus doon sa purchases, yung conversions. Kasi above all, 
even though pangit yung, let's say, hindi above average yung ranking mo, as long as you get the profitable result naman, so what's the point of changing your your ad creative? What's the point of editing your campaign kung nagre-result naman siya sa uh, profitable na na manner? And that's a good thing naman. And that, that's a thing na you should always remember. It's all about, at the end of the day, it's all about conversions. Even though there are a lot of analytics and metrics to consider, um, ito yung mga pinaka-importante. And I want you to, you know, list this. Result, result rate, conversion rate, con- cost per result, purchases, uh, cost per purchase, purchase conversion value, and purchase ROAS or return on ad spend. Now, um, Maybe you experience some problems when it comes to messaging campaigns kasi minsan, when you go to their page, lalo na yung mga bagong page, um, hindi to peso sign. Minsan, dollar sign. Actually, in this page, dati dollar sign yan. So we haven't used that for for uh, a long time. But right now, peso sign naman siya. I'm not sure kung ano talaga yung basis dito, pero I think it's really the ad account business account that's holding this page. So, kung dollar sign yan, I mean, you can do this naman manually, kahit hindi mo siya gawin dito. Actually, the benefit of doing this manually nga is, you know, you can be away from the from the temptation of editing your, your ads right away. So, how you can do that? You go here, you go to the Google Sheet, and ano, eto, zoom ko lang ha, kasi I want this to do, um, I want to do this with you. For those who are watching this. Okay. So, ito, um, I want you to implement this. In order for you to track the performance of your messaging campaigns, you should consider these metrics firsthand. Again, this is related to the metrics that I have told earlier. But in this case, we are doing it manually. So, manually yung approach natin dito, hindi sa may, hindi doon sa ads manager, no? Um, so, let's put the number of messages. So, let's say we have in one day, we have received 100 messages. Ay, mas maganda na meron kayong another um, na column dito, which is the date. So, let's say, ano ngayon? Uh, let's say, it's August 16. Ayan. So, number of messages. Ayan lang natin. And then... Etong trash messages, this is important kasi, you know, there are sometimes, hindi natin maawa, may iwasan eh na there are messages na yung ano talaga spam or yung mga messages na hanggang how much lang, ganyan. Or maybe yung mga messages na nag-click lang ng mga frequently asked questions pero hindi naman talaga nag-express ng intent. Personally, how I treat it um, is, ano, kumbaga trash messages. Yung mga messages na isang message lang, hanggang isang message lang, hindi na nag-reply or kahit react man lang. I consider it, it trash messages. So the purpose here is you can identify dun sa mga um, like yung current campaigns mo if mostly ba nakakakuha ka ng mga madaming trash messages. Kasi if you do, then maybe you can change the the age range or the interest, di ba? You can, you can decide on that. But it's just very important na you, you record this, no? Let's say may natanggap tayo ng tat- trash messages na sampo. And then, conversions, meaning yung mga purchases, sabihin natin if you're an e-commerce brand. Conversions, um, let's say may na-convert ka na ano, um, lima. Yan. So, 100 messages, may bumili na lima. Now, the conversion rate, how, how, to, convert, uh, how to come up with that is the conversions divided by the number of messages. So, here in the Google Sheet, we will do it like this. Equal sign, sum, this, slash, or the divide sign, and click this. There you go. So, the conversion rate is 5%. This is, so we can change the format to percent. There you go. And here, so cost per message naman, um, syempre, titingnan natin yan doon sa may ads manager. So, let's say, ano na lang, um, 3 pesos per per message. ba? So, ito, papalitan natin ng format to um, Philippine peso. There you go. 3 pesos 
uh, per co cost per message. Now, the total ad spend, you can compute that, of course, no, basic lang, um, you, uh, that equals um, uh, the cost per message times the number of messages. So, ito yun. Ito yung total ad spend. Again, this is just, ano, ah, this is an example. A theory lang. Um, kasi, there might be cases na ito, 3.25, 5.25, .25, or 10.25, ganyan. Tapos itong ad spend, di ba, mag, mas pataas pa or mas maliit. Depende sa may budget ninyo. But always consider na, um, always remember na you do analysis at least mga one day uh, after a certain day na nag kayo ng campaign or nag kayo ng ads. No, kasi... Siyempre, para makuha nyo yung buong day na status, okay? Yung buong day na, na data ng um, campaign nyo. Huwag kayong gumawa nito, let's say, ngayon ay August 16, nag-launch kayo, kan let's say, 12 a.m., midnight, that's what I recommend. So, um, tapos 8 p.m. na, ng, uh, 8 PM na tapos doon kayo gagawa nito, wag it's best na tomorrow na lang para makuha niyo yung buong data. Okay? So, again, this is the ad spend and also the purchase conversion value or basically the revenue. How much have you got? Kumbaga, yung ano talaga yung revenue. Let's say, since, lagay tayo ng formula, for some, itong, um, since may limang conversion ka, ita times mo siya, asterisk na sign, times mo siya sa, let's say, ano, um, yung isang product mo costs 1,000 pesos. 1,000 pesos. Okay. Ay, may kulang tayo. Um, ano yung kulang? <laughs> yung kulang ay yung cost per conversion. So, we put it here. Insert. Cost per conversion. So, cost per conversion, you can get that by... Um, you uh, then okay, the total ad spend divided by the conversions total conversion so papalitan lang natin yung format so yung cost per conversion is 60 pesos so isang bili ng tao isang bili ng user is nasa 60 pesos yung cost per conversion dito so uh eto purchase conversion value is nasa 5000 kasi we put na parang tag 1,000 pesos yung isang product. ba? So, format, and then number, palitan natin to Philippine peso. Yan, 5,000 pesos. Now, next na kukunin natin is yung number that represents your return on investment. Okay? Yung return on ad spend. So, how do you get this? Basically, you, um, you get this by... Um, okay. Dividing the revenue or the purchases conversions value by the total ad spend. So in this case, you can see this is a very high return on ad spend, which is 16.6667. Uh, okay. So yeah, this is it. This is these are the most important. Um, ROI based na analytics or metrics na you need to track when you do messaging or when you run messaging campaigns. Again, you may you may track other uh, metrics like click through rate, ranking, pero yung mga yun kasi ano eh, kumbaga sabi pa vanity vanity metrics. Um when you, when you're really an entrepreneur, uh, when you really want um, you know, to engage in business seriously, what you will always look into is the return on ad spend or the return on investment, right? Because it will, uh, it will have no point if you don't get any return. This is, uh, you know, advertising is an investment. It's a long-term investment. Okay, so this is it. This is the manual Google Sheet that uh, we have created now if you want this this format or maybe you want this template just comment below and uh, i'll try to reach out to you 
and send you this or maybe I'll be posting uh, soon a link where you can get this template. Uh, I'll be I'll be creating a you know more sophisticated template that kumbaga mag-input ka lang ng certain data and then flash na agad yung mga important data. Okay? Now if you want that just comment below. Okay. So those are the three uh optimization anal analysis and optimization tips that I can give you to improve your messaging campaigns. You know what? Um, when we say improve, basically, I just don't mean na kumbaga i, i pataasin yung performance. Because in the first place, you can't know, uh, you wouldn't know the performance or kung nasaan ka ngayon, yung baseline mo, if you don't track these numbers. So it's best that before you do anything, before you do uh, modifying and editing your campaigns, you first track these numbers and make something out of it. Decide based on these numbers. And um, in that way, you can have um, informed decisions about your Facebook ads. Okay, let's review. The first one, the first tip is purchase tagging. Purchase tagging is basically you click the Philippine peso sign or whatever currency you have on, mess, uh, on your business suite. You click that and then you put the total conversion value or the, or the revenue that you've got from that sale. Next is you go here in Ads Manager and create a custom column of these metrics that are really, really important for you to understand um, if uh, and, and to know also how much are you getting in return or basically are you getting any return from your Facebook ads? And if you can't do this because you can't also do this because of some reason, maybe the currency, then you can focus on building your own um, system like this. Like it's a manual system where you input the some details and uh, even you can you can do this offline, right? But the Moshang is save us Excel file. Then you can do this even though you're not on, uh, you're not connected to the internet. And this way also, again, you will not be tempted to edit immediately or modify immediately your Facebook ads because you're not in the ads manager platform. You're in a different platform, and you can focus more on these numbers and these numbers alone. So no more distractions. Okay, um, that's it. Those are the three tips that I can give you. Now, uh, I will welcome questions uh, from all of the viewers. So again, we're live in um, in my personal brand page, John Cornwell. Uh, we're also live in Cornwell Media, my advertising agency page. And also we're live on uh, uh, in the Facebook ads for online business group. So. I would love to show you the group so that maybe you're watching this and then you're not a member of that group. You know what? We are in total um, 3.1K or 3,000. There are already 3,000 members in this group and you should join because I post there um, some you know useful contents, valuable contents. And also some people are actually posting there some tips and also questions which you can also help answering. So there are and this is a really a growing community. Um, yeah. And also, you can see me on on YouTube. Uh, you can just search John Cornwell and uh, you will see this. I have uh, fairly lots of videos of already. Um, I actually upload um, the, the recording of this live here. And also, I have some, you know, uh, other useful Topics there about Facebook ads budget, Facebook ads for politicians. I also made uh, another one for that. And the Facebook ad campaign, you can also watch that. The explanation of the, you know, the full structure and uh, the objectives, how to choose the right one for you. And, uh, you know, Instagram marketing strategies, I also post there. So basically just binge watch some, you know, videos here. It will be very helpful for you, especially for those who are just starting with Facebook ads. Let me know if you have some content suggestions for my YouTube channel, and I'll be glad to, um, I'll be glad to you know publish them because I really want to have, um, kumbaga, uh, user-generated content. Hindi lang yung galang sa akin, galang talaga sa mga tanong ninyo. Actually, 
I post here o kung bagay yung mga contents na pinopost ko is actually based on some of the most common uh, you know commonly asked questions doon sa Facebook group and you know I just use it for for all of you to you know to consume freely So you can also see me on Instagram it's at John Cornwell I actually um release contents there like this and uh, I I release content there about like mistakes you make on your Facebook ads and also what I recommend and then videos some TikTok videos you can also see me on TikTok it's at John Cornwell um here I also post some inspirational quotes for me so about business and young entrepreneurship if you're interested just go to at John Cornwell Instagram and also on TikTok and also search me on YouTube Okay, enough for the plug. Now I'll be answering some questions if you have. If you don't have any question, can you just, you know, uh, let me feel that you're there? <laughs> um, from where are you? Um uh, san kayo nanonood sa Facebook ads uh, for online business ba na group or um sa Cornell Media or John Cornell? So we have one viewer here, uh, hi Leomel, Australia. Uh, good day daw. Uh, nakikinig lang daw siya. Okay. <laughs> I'm also here to listen if or like read your questions if you have. Um it's free. <laughs> I can I can I can answer your questions immediately right now. Okay. Uh maybe I'll wait for around maybe around 1 minute for some questions while I'm talking about uh, other stuff here. Okay. So Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, okay. I suppose there are no more questions from the from the viewers. So again, thank you so much for watching. You can still watch this video um, on my YouTube channel and also on um, our Facebook group, Facebook Ads for Online Business. So um, see you on the next live. Um, stay tuned. And even though you're watching this. Um, on replay just comment below whatever you your questions are and maybe I'll answer them on the next live session or uh, I'm going to answer them by typing so yeah uh, I love questions so just drop your questions again thank you so much for watching um have a good night take care everyone